Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be uh, testing Counter-Strike 2 on a GTX 470. Now, uh, the minimum specs for Counter-Strike 2 is, well, graphic card-wise, is essentially just a, a DX11 compatible card. Um, and one thing I came to find out is that the, the GeForce 400 series was the first NVIDIA um GPU lineup to support DX11. So I figured, you know, I've got a GTX 470. We'll uh, see how uh, how that fares against CS2. I mean, I mean, CS2 is quite a well optimized game. It runs pretty well on um, on, on pretty much all the hardware I've tried so far. Um, although it is quite CPU intensive, so maybe that might be a factor to consider. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'll be pairing this with a, a Ryzen 7 2700X. Uh, we're running this with the uh, latest drivers supported, which is uh, 3D9.35. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll uh, start from, we'll start with 800 by 600 resolution, work our way up, and see what you know, see how far we can push the uh, GTX uh, 470. Okay, so we're gonna run with the low preset. Uh, we'll start at 800 by 600. Um, one thing uh, to note is that the model I'm using is the palette uh, the palette version and the also the GTX 470 has 1.2 gigabytes of VRAM so I reckon that this should be more than capable of playing this at a reasonable frame rate but we'll have to see all right here we go I mean yeah it looks like it looks not very good but we are getting uh, well, just average 155 FPS it is dropping a bit the uh, percentile loads are okay but there's no noticeable stuttering. Oh, reload, reload, reload it. Oh. We are doing a bot match because I suck at online multiplayer. <laughs> I'm not much better at uh, bot matches either, unless uh, they're very easy. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay, I just realized that I didn't change my, uh, the uh, the afterburner overlay to show the correct hardware. But one thing to note is that the uh, the GTX 470 does run very hot. I did previously change the uh, thermal paste when I last tested this card. Yeah, it, it, it made a difference. This 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 card just runs very hot. So yeah, we're getting over 80 degrees, but at least it's not throttling the card by the looks of it. But yep, 800 by 600. You're gonna get those frames. It looks like shit, but what can you do? You can still play it. Oh, go go away. Right, let's uh, maybe bump it up to 1024 by 768 and see what see uh, how that affects the frame rate. Right, so 1024 by 768 now, it doesn't look like it's having that much of an impact on the uh, frame rates. Okay, it's similar to 800 by 600. Yeah. Oh, oh, where's that come from? Oh. But yeah, I'm quite surprised. Oh, come on. I'm quite surprised at how, I mean, the GTX 470 came out in 2010, along as with the rest of the 400 series, and I'm amazed at how well it's handling the game in 2023. But yeah, it's running pretty hot. But hey, that is okay in this uh, UK winter weather. Keeps my uh, my room nice and toasty. But yeah, 100, oh, hey, we're getting like 170 FPS. It's not bad, not bad at all. But yeah. Let's let's take it up another notch and uh, we'll, we'll we'll set it to widescreen now. So if we set that to sixteen by nine, and then we'll go with we're gonna go seven twenty p now. Why not? Don't know why it's now down to fifty nine hertz, but whatever. Right, another yeah. So that's uh, had a quite a significant impact on the frame rate. It's it's dropped uh, quite a bit now. We're now averaging one hundred twenty fps, but. I died, regardless. <laughs> oh, oh, someone here, someone here. Uh, I'm changing, I'm changing. Yeah, I bet with a pistol. But yeah, it's still pretty stable. The uh, percentile lows are okay. It's not stuttering. The frame time graph is looking quite good. Tell you what, we need more modern titles like this where that'll just run on the 13 year old hardware with no issue. <laughs> Oh god! In fact, actually, the averages are nothing. Not looking that much worse. I mean, we, we are maxing out the GPU. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, yeah. Is that me? I don't know if that was me. 
Ah, crud. What are you shooting at? Oh my god, just, just give me the pistols. No! Son of a... So yeah, we're maintaining a steady 120 FPS. So the thing is, um, the GTX 470 only has two D DVI ports, at least my version does. Um, so I have to use a DVI to HDMI converter and that limits the refresh rate to 60 hertz. So obviously you're not going to get that full um, frame rate. But if you have a monitor that's DVI input and... Uh, sorry, I'm just... Oh, come on. Yeah, so if you want to got DVI input, then you and it supports like 120 hertz, maybe. I don't know. Do those monitors exist? I have no idea. <laughs> but even so, if they do, then yeah, you'll uh, you'll get that. Uh, you'll get the full benefit from that at 720p. Dang it! All right, time to uh, up you up again. Let's uh, take up to 1080p, shall we? 1080p, 1080p. We don't even have 1080p. I can't be right. Anyway, all right, okay, 600, 900p then, I guess. Right, okay, 900p now, uh, as you can see, we're already starting to see... Oh, actually, no. Still getting 120 FPS. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. The, uh... Percentile lows are still looking pretty good. Get out of the way. Kick them all. Oh, crap. But, yeah, that's, uh... I'm, I'm quite impressed at how, uh... That the frames we're getting from the uh, GTX 470. This is a 13-year-old card. So by the looks of it, this card will not support 1080p uh, in the game, but the maximum resolution we can actually go with is 1680 by 1050 in 16 by 10 mode. So we'll just ramp it up to that and uh, and see what, how far we can push it. I mean, we're, we're looking already look at 87 degrees Celsius there. Oof, toasty. All right, here we go, and we are still getting over 120. FPS average at the maximum resolution we, that the uh, GTX 470 can support. It's unbelievable. We're gonna have to ramp up the uh, the graphical preset and see how far you know what what we need to do with, with this game to get the uh, GTX 470 to actually struggle to get a decent frame rate. We'll have a look in a moment. Let's uh, try and take out a few dudes. Where are you? Get back here. Oh, got a little uh, pistol here. This will do. Oh, I hear some shoot, shooting out. Right, okay, there you are. There we go. Where is everyone? Anybody home? There you are. Sorry, mate, I know you just respawned, but... Got to get those points in. Uh, we've got another one. Oh, come on. But yeah, this, yeah the percentile lows are still pretty stable. That is... It's really, that's, I'm, re I'm really impressed. If I've got a GT440 as well, so I'm going to have to test that as well, just to see how... How well that performs with CS2. Only the GT40 is an entry level card. So I reckon it should play the game at reasonable frame rates. We'll have to see. Right, we're gonna have to see. We're gonna, we're gonna crank it up. We're gonna crank it up to the max settings and see how that. What we need to do <laughs> to get this card to struggle. Change advanced video. I'm gonna die. Ah. Uh, so change preset to very high and see uh, <laughs> what happens there. And there we go. All we need to tank the frame rate is to change the preset to very high. What a difference that makes. So we're now getting 20 odd frames, 21 frames, 22 frames per second. It's looking like a stuttery mess. Definitely don't want to be playing, uh, <laughs> trying to play CS2 with very high settings. Ooh, God, there's a bit of input lag as well. Oh, come on. We'll keep at it. Oh, God, that input lag on using the mouse. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Didn't hear me coming with my silencer. I mean, the temperature seems to have peaked at uh, 85 Celsius, which is good. Oh, got a kill there. Get another kill in. Oh, come on. That input lag. No. Oh. Ah. Ugh. Come on, right. let's try and get one more killing for this horrendous input lag. Ooh, come on, did it again? I got him. Right, okay. Yep, so if you've got an early DX11 card, you can definitely play CS2 
if as long as you, as long as you play at low, very low settings, you'll get a high frame rate easily. So to conclude, um, nothing more to say about that. It's that the GTX 470 does handle CS2 really well if at very low settings, um, even at the max resolution, um, which just absolutely blew me away. Um, I hadn't had I'd had no idea what to expect playing a CS2 on a 13 year old GPU. Uh, that was just that was, yeah. The thing is, in terms of price, um, the GTX 470 goes for around 18 pounds, at least from what I've seen at CEX here in the UK. So around the 15 pound mark, yeah, you can play one of these. Uh, bear in mind, you do get high temperatures. Maybe if you can get like a the next generation card like a gtx 570 gtx 580 um would be a more ideal option and be more energy efficient as well and but yeah like a gtx 480 i think the top end one would be like 28 pounds so there's like but probably won't get that much of a difference in performance if, you, if you've if you've got one of these knocking about you want to cobble together a, as long as you've got a decent cpu though like i'm running a ryzen 7 2700 x so um um a more an appropriate cpu would at least be like a second or third gen i7 um which i might have to test again i'll have to uh, do another test you know pairing it with a more period um cpu from a, from the time this card was around um so yeah uh thanks for watching uh leave a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't done so already uh and i will see you in the next one